it's been a while. Not really a while, but... But, I do apologize for not posting that episode of Ultimate Fair Girls yesterday. Remember the... Because the laptop that I previously used is not... Play Ultimate Fair Girls on? Yeah, it ended up breaking completely. I already made a video on it not that long ago, so... Yeah, which makes, which actually forces me to like redo everything from scratch, yeah, guys. I actually decided to like, I I actually managed to like get an A for chapters one to three, I think. When I redid this, but originally you saw like B, D, C, and for those rankings respectively initially so that was on the old that was on the old laptop so yeah and I had to like redo the entire game up to this point in order to like continue filming sucks doesn't it and I managed to collect more shit Like, I might be stupid for this, but I didn't never notice until now that these shits give you, like, more skills, like, so I'm adding new shit, bro. Whoa! I'm adding more health, so. This is something that I should have noticed early on, bro. I think in chapter 4 I got a D, but when I redid it, it was a C, bro. Like, chapter 4 in terms of gameplay is like, was like hard, bro. Sorry. Just beginning. <laughs> I feel like I waste three and a half minutes just talking to you about this shit. So, wasting time. Let's do this shit. Wait, god damn it! Let me close my uh, Chrome, my Google Chrome. There you go. <laughs> Yakuya is nearby. Huh? How do you know? I can smell him. His <laughs> aromatic sweet fragrance is getting stronger. Oh my god. Wow, what a simp, bro. <laughs> you mean his BO is getting stronger? Which stands for body odor, obviously. Don't say it like that. It makes it sound like he smells bad. But, then again... A smelly master is good too. That itself is a reward for us. Us? You're including me in this? Anyway, there's no mistaking it. He's close. But first we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it right. But before we go, let me nourish myself. Yeah. Uh, let me guess one of those fancies again.
Oh no, apparently. Oh, sadly it's locked. Oh, it's locked on both sides, so we have to like go through here. Is there anything else on the floor before I go? Nah. Okay then. Blonde, if you ask me, but I guess you can't expect much from kids. Wow, hear me. I'm glad you're on my side. That's a backhanded compliment. Maybe there's a hidden room behind that room. Of course. There's always a hidden passage behind the throne. Obviously. So it really was a hidden room. Do you think the Yakuya could be in there? This is exactly the kind of room where he'd be hidden. Yeah. And she just left your ass. Toko, wait up! She was right there. Wait, wait, there's something right there, bro. Oh. That was one of those fucking children's picture books. This one's different from the other one. It's really weird. This ladder is pretty suspicious. Master is inside a storage room. What kind of storage room would be up a ladder? Well, let's just check it out for now. Monica is is a huge ass Junko stand, bro. Like, like she's really fucked up. Oh, oh, Lord, bro. These are all photos of Junko and Ashima. Huh? Junko and Ushina? Yes, she's the person that started the entire tragedy, bro. Her, alongside her sister Mukuro, I still she's gotta rethink I'm thinking about this, yeah, guys. She looks like your typical indie teenage girl. What are you saying? Do you know how many people have died because of her? A shit ton. Yeah, a shit ton of people died because of, because Sorry. of her. Alright. More importantly, this creepy room looks like a cult headquarters. What happened? Take a look at this. Girl in this photo with Junko. It's Monica. I see. No wonder. She has a wicked face. Yeah, bro, like. Like, Junko never really cared about the other wars, other members of the Warriors of Hope. She only cared about Monica, and that's it. And that Monica only cared about being the successor to Junko, and never cared about Paradise. So. She made the Warriors of Hope kill the adults for nothing, basically. J 
just to, nothing more than to just spread despair throughout Tor City. Like, basically, like, it just sucks, like, it just sucks that the other members of the, that the members of the Warriors of Hope had to, were killing adult, were killing the adults for no reason, bro. Really? Or at least they know until, like, really? later on in the game. That just makes it creepier, posing with Kiko and Shima and smiling like this. Oh, God. The way this photo was placed here, I guess this is Monica's room. No wonder she wants to be his successor. She worships Jimbo from the bottom of her heart. And that's, and that's bad because, because Junko, she killed a shit ton of people as a result of the tragedy. She got millions killed as a result. Like, that ass bro, like, Junko, Junko is basically, Dankamon was equivalent to Hitler, bro. Like... Like, that's all that Junko is. Female Hitler. Like, that's what Junko is. Like. Like, she is one awful and fucked up person, bruh. But, don't you think it's a little strange? Yeah, bruh. Someone could have easily stopped Junko, like. Like, I don't know how she managed to get millions killed. Like, I know they explained it in Trigger Happy Havoc, but shit, bro. I, I don't think all that much in Trigger Happy Havoc, but there is another piece of media we had to check out until, I mean, not until, af after we complete Ultra Sparagos, yeah, guys. And I'll, and I'll tell you when we get there. What do you mean? Don't tell me you're still on about that ghost or whatever. If you're curious, you can question her yourself. I thought Master would be here, since this is a hidden room and all. But I guess not. Damn, bro. Monica is one fucked up individual, bro. She's just as fucked up as the person she's idolizing. I never, not sure, so I never expected my mother to would abandon me to my father. Someone I never met before. I never thought something like that could happen to me. Meow. If this were a fairy tale, the main character would tie the knot with a prince from somewhere. But I know this is reality, not some silly old tale. The only thing to do is die. Selfishly do, do their business, selfishly give birth, and then top it all off, selfishly abandoned. <laughs> Such pathetic characters, how splendid. Oh, right, right. Being as splendid, all the new family is so splendid too. The attitude towards me, the outsider. It's far too obvious. When I say a joke, the room freezes. When I smile, they make a face saying, you don't deserve to laugh. It's so amazing. So, it's so splendid. <laughs> so splendid that I want to die. Just kidding. No, seriously. I was kidding. I, it was such a joke. Damn, bro. So, she was abandoned. She was abandoned by her mother, basically. Jesus Christ, bro. I would feel bad for her, but... Given that she started to idolize Junko... Yeah... No. Bruh. Like... You're, you don't gain my sympathy for idolizing Junko. Hell no. Like, she's a person that caused 
that's, that caused million, millions of, of deaths in in universe. says we're almost at the highest level. You're surprisingly correct. That spiral staircase must be connected to the roof. Six Junko, aka the goddess, was killed by Makoto Naegi. Which we, which we already know that it's Kamaro's older brother and the ultimate hope of Trigger at the Havoc. Makoto is super cool. He overcame tough cir circumstances with power of hope and attained the future they want. He even makes the boys' hearts race. There's no mistaking that each and every one of you will admire him. And a super cool guy like that, I've, that absolutely has to be killed. We were led to misfortune by Makona Aegi, so we have no choice. Pigs who kill others for their interests deserve to be killed by pigs for other people's interests. Like, I don't know why there's so many people worshipping Junko in this fucking in this fucking series, bro. Like, like in Dragon Ball Two, you had motherfuck, you had the fucking cast, re 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 revealing that the cast was working for Junko prior to join the. This door is locked. I was about to say prior to join the Neo World program. So yeah, they were basically working for Junko prior to to entering the Neo World program in order to like rehabilitate them. So yeah. No doubt about it. Master has to be on the other side of this door. Huh? You're not gonna lose your composure this time? You're not gonna like Cling to the door and cry and shout and make ugly faces. Well, it's true that I might do that, but it's weird hearing it from someone else. When your purpose lies just before you, sometimes you need to be as calm as a corpse. That's a creepy example. Anyway, I'm not going to have some half-assed reunion now, but all joyous reunion later. And when that happens, I'll cry and shout and make ugly faces in Master's arms! The same quote quote Master that does not want your ass? Are you sure he'd be okay with that? There's no way he'd dislike it. Jeez, you don't understand men at all. The big thing is that you don't understand men at all, so You need to be in love. A woman in love is the most beautiful woman of all. In love, quote, quote, like, bruh. You, like, I'm thinking of an example I could think of, uh, Like you're in love with with Byakuya in the same way that that Roman Reigns loves the Usos, bro. And the fact that he don't love them. 
And a spoiler alert for Night of Champions 2023, uh, guys. And and that's why the and that's why Jimmy Uso turned on Roman Reigns by kicking him in the face twice. So yeah. I'll try to remember that.
packaging <laughs> Yeah, bro. Wait, what? What the fuck? Wait, what the hell, bro? What the hell did just happen, bro? I know that the game didn't close on me, bro. I know that the game did not close on me. So, huh? Okay, I guess I'll see ya when I can, when I'm finished with that whole battle thing again. Why don't you TV signing off?